What's going on YouTube? Flashy here. Welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. And all I'm going to say is if you want to look like this, then this Ark Warlock build is for you. We're going to be turning into a Sith Lord, chaining lightning everywhere from our fingertips and just clearing out instances full of adds and even dealing some serious damage to some high level bosses. Now, I know people's first thoughts when it comes to a melee build is definitely not Warlock, but there's just something so powerful and so fun about playing this build. Before we get into the details, if you could leave a like on the video and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future Destiny 2 videos. So as always, let's start off with our subclass. To play into that kind of Sith Lord idea, we're actually going to be running storm trance or what people tend to refer to it as tickle fingers i think in general the arc warlock supers are seen as pretty underwhelming and people tend to lean more towards chaos reach for its insane damage output but i don't know i really like storm trance probably not the best for bosses but when it comes time to add clear there's something so satisfying about chaining the lightning throughout the entire room blinking all over the place and wiping out every single ad in seconds now moving over into abilities, we're going to be taking Healing Rift for that survivability, Burst Glide for our jump, and the melee is actually a crucial part of our build because it pretty much is our build and we're going to be going with the Chain Lightning Melee, an extended range melee that jolts your target and chains lightning to nearby targets. And for those that might not know, jolting is when the target is charged with destructive arc light as they take additional damage while jolted, they chain lightning to nearby targets. Furthermore, while amplified, which we always will be, our melee is going to create an additional set of chains, so even more jolting, more chain lightning and arc damage, really, really, really nice. And then for our grenade, I'm just going to go storm grenade for some good damage and AoE. Now for the aspects, you can mix and match between the three here, it just really depends on what you like. Lightning surge is really nice for this kind of build, but I just like the other two aspects a little bit more, so we're going to be running with them. And that's going to be electrostatic mind, defeating targets with arc abilities, or defeating jolted targets creates an ionic trace, which will make you amplified. As I said before, we're going to be amplified all the time with this build, so we'll always have that increased movement speed and weapon handling it makes for some really nice quick and fluid gameplay second aspect we're going with the arc soul i don't think i can run arc warlock without using this i just love having that arc buddy with me it racks up so many kills does so much damage clears out all the trash mobs when we cast our rift we get an arc soul allies will also get an arc soul plus our rifts charge faster around allies which is great and while we're amplified the arc souls actually get a buff with increased rate of fire. Really nice synergy here between Electrostatic Mind and the Arc Soul. Combine all that with the increased movement speed, you kind of just fly around the entire room and clear out all the ads. It's so nice. And to wrap up the subclass, we got to look at our fragments. And the first fragment we're going to take is actually going to be Spark of Resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. Obviously, this is a melee focused build. So of course, we're going to be close to a lot of enemies all the time. And next up, we grab Spark of Discharge. Arc Weapon Final Blows have a chance to create an Ionic Trace. Just another way to get amplified here and I would definitely recommend using arc weapons, but we'll get into that in a second. Next fragment, Spark of Recharge. While critically wounded, your melee and grenade regenerate more quickly. Just a solid fragment to grab on any arc build, really. And finally, the last one we'll take is gonna be Spark of Amplitude. Rapidly defeating targets while you're amplified creates an orb of power. You constantly get multi-kills with the chain lightning, so just some extra orbs there for you and your team. So now looking at the weapons, you can really run anything you want. This is a pretty melee-focused build, but you definitely wanna keep it arc. The Ikalos SMG, especially if you have Volt Shot, is probably one of the best PvE weapons weapons out there right now i would definitely recommend running it even if you don't have volt shot it's just such a good arc smg and then for the heavy i actually like to go with the half truth sword the eager edge mobility combined with amplified movement speed is a great way to actually have some really solid mobility as a warlock and it's also kind of like you have a lightsaber which is sick so it kind of works out well and it's arc and not a bad sword so you can clear some ads with this as well instead of just using it for movement with eager's edge and now to the armor which brings all of this together our exotic gauntlet is going to be the claws of ahamkara with the armor perk the whispers gain an additional melee charge really simple straight to the point not only that i do feel like they're one of the coolest looking gauntlets in the game and as a sith lord we gotta look cool and these just fit so well but that additional melee synergizes really nicely with this build just another opportunity to chain more lightning more jolted targets more damage more ad clear i feel like it's obviously not one of the more popular exotics for warlocks but with this build it just fits really nicely and you'll always be able to get that powered melee going and generally i don't spend too much time on the mods because everything is kind of getting reworked for lightfall and and this build works great as is you really don't need any mods but if you want to get a little more in depth there are some solid mods that synergize well with this build on the helmet we could take well of striking picking up an arc elemental well grants you additional melee energy on our gauntlets we can grab well of ions picking up an arc elemental well causes your next melee to deal increased damage and on the chest piece we'll take melee well maker powered melee combatant final blows spawn elemental wells matching your subclass energy type and then finally to end the video you could check out the appearance customization here to get that sith lord look thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.